Okay, so hi everyone. So I'm gonna try to make a quick tutorial here on how to uh, record a video for your JuliaCon 2020 talk. I'm gonna be showing you how to use a piece of recording software called OBS, uh, which is free and it's open source. It runs on Mac, Linux, and Windows machines. I'll be using a Mac today. I'm not sure uh, how much or if at all the interface might change from one type of machine to another, um, but hopefully what I show you today translates easily. Um, so to get started, I'm going to share my screen and I'll, I'm recording on Zoom right now. I normally use OBS, but it's hard to record yourself showing how to record. Um, okay, so um, first thing we might do now that I'm sharing my screen is, this is an error I was showing earlier. Um, okay, so OBS software, uh, you can search for that online. Um, then obsproject.com is where you would go to get an installation. Um, so if you go to download here, um, you'll see that you can download the installer for a couple different platforms. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm running mine on a Mac. Okay, so once you have OBS working on your machine um, and you open it, you get an environment that looks like this. Um, you can always create a new scene. Um, by going to scene collection and going to new, for example. So right now I'm on the scene called JuliaCon 2020 demo. Okay, so this is what our, our blank slate in OBS looks like. Um, so the first thing we might wanna do is add a few different sources. So these sources will include um, maybe a video of you, definitely an audio of you, and then whatever you want to show for your talk. So for example, um, slides, or if there's some browser that you wanna show. So I'm going to add um, first a video capture device. We'll see what happens with me capturing video in two places. Um, I selected the device as my FaceTime HD camera. Um, okay, so this is my face now in my, within my OBS screen here. Um, now I'm going to add audio. So I'll add an audio input capture from sources. Um, I'm just going to call this my voice and default I'll say my built-in microphone okay and we can see that it's capturing my the sound from my voice here um, because we see modulation of this green and yellow bar thing under my voice um, you could also add other audio captures for example if you wanted to um, capture some sound that was coming out of your machine, but rather than like capturing it coming out of your speakers and then, you know, back in, you can just take the sound um, from the source online. So maybe you're playing like a YouTube video or some, I don't know, Pandora music in the background, something. I don't know why you'd want to do that for JuliaCon talk, but I'm sure that you're more creative than me and can think of reasons. Um, okay, so now we got an audio clip called My Voice, a video clip called My Face, and uh, now I'm going to add some slides. Uh, so I'll do a window capture here. So window capture, I'm just gonna call this one slides. Um, and then you can see everything that I have open on my machine. Um, so I just picked these slides. Um, these were from my defense a while ago. Um, one thing to bring up here is that uh, the order of your sources denotes the um, priority, I guess, um, of those sources. So if I drag my face so that it's above slides, um, now that changes the layering of my different sources. And also we can resize our sources. So here I'm, I can drag to make my video bigger and smaller. Here I'm going to make my slides much smaller. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, if I wanted, I could add additional things and then just, you know, arrange them within the window. So here, another window capture. Um, I'll just do, I don't know, my browser, for example, um, and then we can go back to this. So oh, that was a terrible idea. Where did I wanna go? Um, oh, this one, Google Chrome OBS, okay. And then I will resize this. I'll put that here. I'll put my slides right here. 
and then I'll drag my face so it's a little higher than the browser so we can still see that within OBS. And then I'll bring myself down here. So this is just an example of a, a scene that we might construct. Um, once you have this scene all together, um, now you would want to start recording within OBS. So you can see that under the control panel down here, uh, I can hit start recording. Um, we are recording now and you can see that um, the duration of time that we're recording, if you watch my mouse, is being shown down here with rec uh, colon or 11 seconds recording here. Once I'm done and happy with my, um, happy enough with my, my recording, I can stop recording. And now what I would want to do within OBS, um, I can remux recordings. So I'm going to go to um, browse in this line next to OBS recording. Um, the sound video clip um, that we just created is a .flv file um, with a timestamp. And so the most recent one we did uh, is right here. So I'm going to open that. Um, and then to create an MP4 file, I'm going to have to hit that Remux button in the lower right hand corner of the pop up that I have. Um, but first, I'll rename this. So this, I'll just call it JuliaCon Demo 001. Um, I'll hit Remux. The recording has been Remuxed. Um, we see the destination here was uh, Users Jane Movies. Um, and so for me, if I pull up a terminal, um, we can see here, I'm just gonna clear this. Um, what did I say the path was? To open users, Jane, movie, and then it was Julia Con demo. So we open that up. Um, on my machine, QuickTime is my default video player. And so if I play this, that's the video we just made. Okay, so uh, hopefully that gives you a beginner's view of how to get started with OBS. Um, hopefully this translates well to non-Mac platforms. Uh, we might be putting out other tutorials depending on demand. So uh, let us know if you have trouble um, with OBS or some other aspect of recording as you're preparing for JuliaCon 2020. Um, that's all. Thank you so much for watching.